Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about Apple's new Unleashed event. So just about a week ago, Apple sent out these invitations which shields an Apple logo and something traveling at the speed of light and it says Unleashed. So yeah, this is coming out, a new event in less than 24 hours and yeah, what do we, what do we expect? How can you view it? All the stuff in this short video right here. So yeah, so basically this logo we think is depicting the super fast speeds of the M1X chip, which is Apple's second generation of Apple Silicon chip. We think that's why it's going at the speed of light, but yeah, we'll just have to see. Um, the event date is gonna be on October 18th, which is kind of Apple threw us a curveball here because everybody expected the 19th or, um, you know, the uh, always a Tuesday. But, you know, I think Apple just like, just to fool us or just to mess with us, they probably put it on a Monday. I don't know, everyone, they always do it on Tuesdays, but this time it's on a Monday, just a curious little detail there. Um, so yeah, the main thing we're going to be seeing in this um, October event is going to be Max. So M1X is officially here. That's definitely going to be the name of this new chip. Um, not that they were, you know, leaks were saying M2 or M1X, but M1X is probably what they're going to go with. We're going to see two new Macs tomorrow, 14 inches and 16 inches. So basically Apple is able to make the bezels thinner on the tops and the sides because previously they had a 13 and a 15 inch. Now they're going towards 14 and 16, keeping that same size, which means that, you know, just by shrinking the bezels, they're making it a little bit bigger. This is going to be basically just like a retro MacBook Air. Those 2015 MacBook Air is going to take a lot of those features and put it into this. So basically a lot of things like that, um, you know, consumers didn't like, like butterfly keys and touch bar and, you know, just USB-C ports. Everything is going to be gone. We're kind of going to something like I have here with MagSafe and, you know, a, a return to an old style, which is kind of good because um, in some things, you know, just two USB-C ports is definitely not enough. But at the same time, it's kind of like they're bringing a bunch of new things and then they're going back to the old thing and then claiming it's a completely new thing. So yeah, basically, yeah, these two different Macs should be priced around the 1700 to 2300 range. These are the high-end Macs. We don't think they're gonna replace the M1 Max and those are gonna just stay there as like a lower budget option and the M1X is gonna be like the brand new thing. Um, it's going to have full screen, kind of like the iPhones, could have a notch is what we're hearing now. So it's gonna be like corner to corner with the bezel being like really, really thin. And, but we could see a notch just so they can put the face, you know, not the face ID, sorry, camera, FaceTime camera and stuff, which is supposed to be a lot better this year because everyone can agree that Apple's FaceTime camera is just trash on the MacBook. So yeah, we're gonna be seeing that. MagSafe is making a return, uh, just like we have here. They're gonna include a MagSafe charger and like the magnetic thing, you know, I think they're bringing it into iPhone and now they're gonna integrate it back into the Mac thing, which they didn't have for four years and counting. Um, now the other features is going to be a HDMI and SD card reader. SD card readers are widely used between um, many people who use Macs for video editing and people have been calling to put that back, put that back. And finally, I think Apple is going to hear them and finally put that back along with four USB-C ports. So we should be seeing a lot more versatility in ports coming this year. Now, another huge thing that's coming is the display. It's going to be a mini LED display, which is first seen in uh, this year's 20, M1 2021 12.9 inch iPad Pro. So mini LEDs is really advanced, good display. You know, they go to OLED, mini LED, all this stuff. It's just supposed to be a really nice display, which is gonna be a major cost in that MacBook. Um, you know, it's gonna, that screen itself is gonna cost a couple hundred dollars for Apple. And that's why it's gonna be reserved for the expensive side because of that mini LED display. So yeah, that's basically kind of it uh, for the Macs. We're getting all those cool features there. Um, hopefully we should be seeing, you know, just the classic space gray and silver colors. Uh, we don't think they're gonna make it colorful like they did the um, iMacs. Those are the two products we could see. They could release a new Mac mini, maybe a new iMac with 27 inch iMac, but these are the two um, MacBook Pro products we know for sure. AirPods 3, uh, AirPods Generation 3 is likely to be dropping tomorrow as well. Um, we could see them kind of a hybrid between AirPods and AirPods Pro, taking on that AirPods Pro design, minus the noise canceling and minus the ear tips. So we'll see, pretty excited for that. I think this event is gonna be really great overall. If you wanna check it out, YouTube, Apple TV and Apple.com will all be streaming them online only event. So yeah, tune in tomorrow and we'll have the live coverage. I mean, not sorry, not um, coverage of the event right after it goes out. So yeah, catch you in that video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.